event together for over a year now. And uh, our first guest, when he finally sent us our letter uh, and had agreed to perform with another special guest, uh, he put in the letter at the very end, he said, my brother and I will give you a performance that the SPA members will never forget. And then he said, in light of last year's performance, <laughs> let me say it's one that they will love instead. The Jerry Adler Show, with his very, very, very special guest, his brother Larry.
Uh, the next song that I'm going to do, I'm using a kind of a musical contest. Uh, I'm going to play a song that everyone in the audience knows. However, I'm going to play the verse before I play the chorus. Now, I know there are some of you guys out there who do know it, uh, but there are those of you who do. Please don't give it away. Let's see if we can have some fun with it and see if you can guess the name of this song. night that everyone guessed Melancholy Baby. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Uh, now I'd like to do a medley of songs written by a gentleman who wrote a very special kind of American music. And no one has ever been able to duplicate it. 
So here, no, it's not Gershwin. Here is a medley of songs made famous by, who he also performed the songs as well as wrote them, the music of Mr. George M. Cohan. And if you feel like singing along, be my guest. You always have been. Incidentally, I have not worked the, a show for Spa in 14 years, 1981, which only proves something very important. When you're a hit, they want you back. <laughs> semi-classic, and I'd like to do Liszt's Second Hungarian Rhapsody. And if you know the words, please sing along. <laughs> Thank you. 
another act with us besides my brother Larry. Unfortunately, he had to cancel at the last, not my brother, but unfortunately, this other gentleman had to cancel at the last minute. A perfectly super uh, tap dancer. And we don't want any of you to feel cheated. So, no, I'm not gonna dance. <laughs> As a result, I would like to give you my impression of what he would have done had he been here. discussing that particular number I just did. And one turned to the other and said, I know how he does that. And the other one said, how does he do it? She said, he does it with his plates. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to throw it overboard. <laughs> um, there was a, something written uh, fairly recently that, a number of years ago, but I consider it fairly recently, I had the great pleasure of doing it for the soundtrack of a motion picture that was one of the most violent pictures ever made, but it was extremely marvelous. It was called The Deer Hunter. And from this film came a melody that was so hauntingly beautiful, it became a favorite of mine, and I hope it will come, become a favorite of yours. And it's called simply, Cavatina.
my idol ever since I can recall thinking seriously about music. And he wrote something that was very upbeat and it has been a personal uh, favorite of mine. And I'd like to do it for you now. And it's called Fascinating Rhythm. A one, two, a one, two, three. said the following. She said, you know, Mr. Adler, I wonder if you realize that practically everything in your repertoire has something to do with either ethnic or religion, or religion in some way. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. They said, well, think about the numbers that you do. You do the Hungarian Rhapsody for the Hungarians. You do Malaganya for the Spanish. You do Fiddler on the Roof for the Jews. And she went on and on. And it never occurred to me that she was really quite right. I've just added one more to the list. I've just